In this tutorial, we're going to create a video like the one you've seen in the very beginning of this video. It's a beautiful transition effect where you have the text coming towards you and slowly dissolving away and revealing the video in behind you want people to see. It gives it a real beautiful effect. It can be used for vacation videos, gaming videos, any type of video. If you're interested, follow me. Right click, create new video track. I already imported my media, so grab this, try the second second track. Now go to media generators, go to titles and text, drag this to the first track. And let's call this vacation. And we want it bold, really bold. So let's pick impact. I'll tell you why after. Impact. Now we need this bigger, but we don't want to use the numbers. Because what happens is it creates art artifacts on the fonts, the jagged edges you'll see. We want to use scale. So let's go to scale. Make it a little bit bigger, that's good. Now let's cut this video down. 30 second mark is good. Hit the S key on your keyboard. Delete the excess. Now go to compositing mode. Select multiply mask. Go to event pan crop. Set your cursor to the end. We're going to create a keyframe automatically when we do this. We're going to grab the corner, drag it all the way in to the A. And I see we created a keyframe down here for that. Now this is the reason I wanted a thick font. Because we're using a real thin font. When this... I'll show you what happens here. If you're using a thin font, some of the fonts will stay behind. They won't zoom all the way out. Whereas the impact is so thick, I can zoom all the way into the A and we get the video behind it. So that's the reason I like using impact. So let's split this right here. Split. Save this for later. Now let's render this out. Render it. Call it intro. Render it. It looks like it's difficult, but it's really not. It's, it's actually very easy to, to do this. Yeah, it's good. So we can delete all this. He's back. Okay, this is the first track. Delete the second track here. Track. Now I'll go back to compositing mode and reset it back to source alpha. Now let's import my media. Intro right there. Now what we want to do is we want to create a cross effect, a crossfade effect, where the text will dissolve. And this is how you do it. So grab your video, drag it over top of the other video. Let's do a five second crossfade. Five by one, that's fine. Fine. Now go to track motion. I'm going to stop the zoom in. I'm going to zoom in now. But we'll stop right about there. So it will create a keyframe there for us. So what we're going to do is grab the edge and drag it out so it zooms in. So 
like that. It's good. And close it. So it creates a real beautiful effect when the text is coming towards you, it dissolves and it shows your video in the background. Just, just, just a beautiful transition. If you found this video helpful and you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks for watching.